Welcome to ATC TV, I'm Murray Canellan. This morning we're joined by legendary trainer Gay Waterhouse. Gay, Carlton House will have an exhibition gallop on Saturday. How long have you had the horse for? I've had him for a couple of months now. Uh, Her Majesty the Queen, uh, with consultation with her racing manager John Warren, um, we're looking sort of, I suppose, for an alternate training way for this horse. He was very, very brilliant, running third in the English Derby. Uh, and then he, he went and he won, the, uh, the, I think it was the Dante. Uh, two really good races over there. And he, he, he was very promising. And Sir Michael Stout thought he could really shape up into anything. And he just became a little bit arthritic in his joints. And I, I think they had a few different problems with him. Uh, he went to Hong Kong, he competed in the Hong Kong International over there and then after that he, he's come down under and he's the first time uh, I trained for the Queen Mother, uh, Her Majesty's mum and uh, now it's nice to be able to train for the Queen. Yes, uh, you've trained over a hundred Group 1s, this would have to be uh, up there on the accomplishments for your career. It certainly is, and it's very nice. I, I spoke with her uh, about uh, a month ago uh, and she was very interested. She's very interested in what we're doing, you know, because what we do here is so different to what happens in England. You know, getting the horses uh, not only fit, but sort of keeping their condition there without them sort of going too sore or, 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 or getting injuries or things like that. So you're utilising the pool here and the beach? I am, and I'm a, a spa, uh, a special spa I have like they have in England, and I've also got uh, the pool and the beach and just different training methods, you know, the, the tracks are different and, and they're not as probably, a, 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 the the, um, the gallops aren't as extensive in Australia, everything's a bit more compact than it is at Newmarket. Okay, and now, as you said, ran third in the English Derby, do you think that 2400 will be his preferred distance or do you see another distance? Well, uh, at present his, his preferred distance is probably a mile to 2,000 metres. And like many English horses that come down under, they race probably up to about 2,000 metres and aren't really two mile uh, specialists. This is something that has to be discussed with Her Majesty and with John Warren. So Gay, did you speak with Sir Michael Stout about the horse's intricacies and how it uh, likes to gallop and track work? Or do you like uh, knowing sort of nothing about the horse when it comes to you? No, far from it. I spoke in great depth many times with John Warren, the racing manager of the Queen. Um, I have spoken with Michael, Michael's a good friend of mine, uh, and when we bought Ferente, I spoke at, long, uh, long, um, at great depth. But as John had an intimate knowledge of Carlton House, uh, uh, John Warren, I, I spoke with him. And, and it was quite interesting, you know, they, have, uh, so they had very, um, you know, they had uh, views on the horse, how, and how he had been trained and maybe how he should be trained. I, didn't th I don't think they realised the advantages we have with the weather in Australia, uh, you know, that you're able to swim so much and beach so much. I think that's our biggest plus with our horses with arthritis. Now, do you think we'll see uh, Carlton House over the BMW Sydney Carnival? Uh, may not see him over the BMW, but you, you'll certainly see him over the HCCs, your latter in the uh, carnival. You know, maybe you might start, uh, and that's something for, for Her Majesty and John to discuss, dis discuss with me. You know, I'll, first of all, I'll, I'll exhibition gallop him tomorrow. He'll trial at Randwick <coughs> in the next 10 days, and then I'll program him. Now, it's uh, hard to also not to forget that more Joyce and Ferrante, the Melbourne Cup runner-up, are also exhibition galloping at Warwick Farm. Absolutely, and then you've got Haylist, so it'll be a, a really, there'll be as much interest in the horses not racing as the horses that are racing. Exactly, fantastic. Well, all the best for the weekend, and uh, all the best for the BMW Sydney Carnival. Thank you. Tomorrow's racing is the Group 1 Chipping Norton Stakes at Warwick Farm. For track updates and the latest scratchings, head to theraces.com.au. While you're there, pick up your tickets for the BMW Sydney Carnival. Six fantastic weeks of Group 1 racing from Rose Hill Gardens and Royal Randwick. You're invited to the BMW Sydney Carnival for a thoroughly playful, thoroughly spectacular, thoroughly thrilling, and thoroughly exhilarating experience. The BMW Sydney Carnival, March 23 to April 27. Book now at theracers.com.au.